Alright folks, what I've got here is a site I am levelling to put up a yurt in a few days time. Now, I've been using the tractors, that's why it's so messy, but it's really hard to get a level and to, to do it by eye. So what I've got a set up here called a water level, which I'm going to use to um, put some, some stakes in the ground. Come and have a look at this. So what the water level consists of is just a piece of garden hose. This was a piece of old plastic tube I found off the end of a gun actually, one of those guns. And some water in the bucket here, rubber tube, a piece of rubber tube which wraps around and it locks the actual pipe, locks the pipe in place. And here I've got a bit of blue dye. We had to get the blue dye in here so that we could see the actual water. As you see, I'll put it down here like this, the water level comes up, I just do that to keep it steady, to stabilise it, stable, stop it from oscillating. So it's there, take my finger off. So that water level in the bucket is the same as the water level there. And you've got to wait for it to stabilise anyway. It does stabilise. Now, this blue dye, we have to get it in here. That's why my mouth's blue. I took a bit in my mouth and squirted it in the top there so it didn't go everywhere else. Now, some other material. I've got some pegs here to put around the site. And this is my, well, I suppose you call it my story rod in surveying terms, or level, or just leveling rod. That's what I use for getting the height, plus some stakes and this bucket. And that's all you need. And it's really accurate. You know, like um, it's as accurate as the pencil line that you're using. Those theodolites and dumpy levels and things like that, they're, they're really accurate. You've got to level them. You've got to know how to use them. This is really simple and it is easy to use and it's accurate too that's what i'm saying so that's where we're at now we're going to start and i'm going to show you how to use it okie doke this is one of the stakes that's been put in the ground this is going to be my first reference so it's nearly ground level and this is the higher part of the site so i'm going to put a mark on here here see that mark there that's where i'm putting that mark and I'm going to attach this rod that I'll be taking all the way around the place. That gets level with the bottom one. Wrap my rubber bands around here. Not tight, just to hold it. That. Then I get my level. Get the approximate level. Is my level line there. So I go to every peg from now on and the distance from here to there will be the same. So I'll take that off and I don't need that rubber band anymore. I'll come to this one over here. I'll hold this on here. Oops. So I'll hold that and I'll make sure I get the stick. Make sure this water line, I'll move the stick up and down now. Make sure that water line is... Mm. Mark it there. So that point there is exactly the same as that point over there. And I'll come back down here and I'll do the same thing. Oops. Now you see this is you can see this is much higher already. And I've got a bit of work to do. See, this level here is always the same as that level in the bucket, so this is my reference. 
that level there. There it goes. I'll put my mark there. Right there. And I'll do the same over there. And then my level lines, and I get an idea of where to actually push the dirt. What I could do, if I really wanted to, I mean, I could set my profiles out with this when I pull string lines through, but I'm just doing it just to get a general idea. I could actually mark a point 100 mil above each one of these marks here and tie string lines through and then, le then level it according to that so I can actually just put the dirt 100 mil below the string lines. And that's basically it. That's how to get an, uh, that's how to level a site. And it's really accurate too. Okay, thanks folks. Any questions or comments? Just write below and ask. Okay, go. See you later.